Good morning, Wildcats. Oh my goodness, the weather this week is going to be beautiful. Sorry if you hear a lot of weird noises in the background. That's my kid. We got a new workout machine in the basement and she's kind of obsessed with it and she wants to play on it all the time. <laughs> it's an elliptical, so she's down there running. <laughs> okay, so this week is an interesting week because it is Earth Day on Wednesday. And I thought in honor of Earth Day, I would read to you about Monet. And the reason I think that this works with Earth Day is because Monet liked to paint outside. So he, would, he thought about going outside and painting outdoors and painting the scenes that he saw. It would be a beautiful week for you to do the same. So that's why I figured I would talk about Monet today. Also, if you're wondering what this is, yes, I do have two pieces of bread taped to my wall. Um, that is because my kiddos, we did science week last week, and they really wanted to um, do a science experiment about germs. So we wiped one of our pieces of bread um, with a Q-tip. We picked up some germs and wiped it on the bread. We wiped the one of them with the Nintendo Switch. So my son plays Nintendo Switch all day long. And so we wiped the Nintendo Switch and then we wiped it on the bread to see if it's gonna mold. And then my daughter did the bottom of shoes. We've been talking about how we should take our shoes off when we enter the house instead of wearing our shoes through the house. So we're going to see which one molds more. And since you guys are here with me, next week when I read, I'll show you that and see which one has molded a little bit more. So let's get started. Okay, Claude Monet. Claude Monet was born in Paris, France in 1840. He was a great artist and he helped invent an important style of painting called Impressionism. Whoa, many of Monet's paintings are pictures of water. Boats, oceans, ponds, and lakes were some of his favorite subjects. I also love the water. In fact, this week, I think I might go out on my kayak in the water since it's going to be so nice. Claude Monet loved the way that colors reflect in water and the special way that water makes the clouds and sky look. Love to see the reflections in the water. He paints it. I try to photograph it when I'm out on the water. Monet even fixed up a boat as a floating studio. He kept paints, brushes, canvas, and drawing supplies on it. He sailed up and down rivers and streams, stopping to paint wherever he liked. That sounds like fun. So he made his boat a mobile painting studio. Ugh. Maybe I should try that with my kayak. When Claude Monet was little, his family moved from Paris to the town of... Now, I got this ready for you. I do not speak French, so I'm going to have the internet tell you. Are you ready? The town of... Listen... Le Havre. Le Havre. Lava? Le Havre. Le Havre. Le Havre. That's fun to say. So when Claude and Monet was little, his family moved from Paris to the town of Le Havre, which was right on the sea. At Le Havre, ships from all over the world stopped to pick up supplies for their long journeys. Monet's father owned a grocery store that sold supplies to the sailors and shipping companies. Claude must have seen a lot of very interesting people while he was growing up. I'm going to show you this cartoon here. So here's little baby Claude, and here's his dad owning the shop. This one says, we want 50 sacks of flour, 400 feet of rope, a bunch of swords, 18 gallons of rum, and 10 dozen lollipops. Claude Monet had a good sense of humor, but he didn't do very well in school. He never listened to anybody, and he spent most of his time drawing funny pictures. He even drew funny pictures of his teachers. Uh-oh. Here it says, here's little Claude, and he drew a funny-looking picture of his teacher. And he says, Mr. Monet, do you have anything to say about this ridiculous drawing that you made of me? And he says, yes, I probably should have made the nose a little bigger. Oh, no. Claude became very good at drawing these pictures. When he was a teenager, some people, who also had a good sense of humor, paid him to draw funny pictures of them. They're like little caricatures. Those are fun to draw. Actually, some of you sent me kind of drawings like that last week through Artsonia. Claude liked making money by selling his drawings. 
He kept on drawing until a well-known local artist convinced Claude that he should try painting. Eugene Baudin had some new and interesting ideas about painting that Monet liked. Baudin thought artists should paint outside, not in stuffy studios like most artists did during Monet's time. Got another little cartoon. See if I can get in here. Okay. It's best to paint out of doors. This way you can feel what you paint. Am I right, Monet? Yes, Baudin, you are very right. And it's raining on them. Sorry, I had a phone call. <laughs> Things got a little awkward there in the middle. Okay, Monet loved the idea of painting outdoors. In 1862, he left... Oh, I forgot how to say it. Le Havre. Le Havre. Le Havre. Le Havre. He left love to study art in Paris. There he met other artists. Monet made friends with Pierre-Auguste Renoir, Alfred Sicily, and Frédéric Basile. He showed them how much fun it was to paint outdoors. Monet and his friends often painted together in the countryside. After the invention of oil paint in tubes, it was easier for artists to carry their supplies around and paint outside. Before that, artists had to mix their own paint in jars with colored powder and oil. It was a messy job. There were some problems with painting outside though. Sometimes sand and other things stuck to the wet paint. I got a little cartoon here. He's painting and it says, must have been pretty windy today, huh, dad? And he said, you could say that. Look at all the weird things that are stuck to his painting. It's like a banana peel, an actual pig. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Monet wanted his paintings to become well-known so that people would buy them. Almost the only way he could do this was by having his paintings shown at the Great Salon in Paris. The Salon was a place where people came from all over the world to see what the best artists were doing. It wasn't easy to get a painting into the Salon. The few judges picked only the paintings they liked. Monet entered his paintings often. Sometimes they were accepted, and sometimes they weren't. Women in the Garden was one of Monet's paintings that didn't make it. Monet used his favorite model for all four women in this painting. Her name was Camille. Claude Monet and Camille fell in love and got married a few, few years after this painting was finished. Seems to be a common theme with artists. They fall in love, and then they use that particular person in their paintings, ugh, my hair, guys, as their model. Pay no mind to my hair. I don't know what's happening with it. I haven't been able to go to my, my girl, get my hair done. Monet often used Camille and their children as models. This is a painting of Camille and their first son, Jean. The Great Salon wasn't paying much attention to Monet and his friends, so they decided to have their own show. They wanted people to see how exciting their colorful outdoor paintings were, but the show didn't work out very well. We've got another cartoon here. And it says, oh my gosh, hold on. There's a dog at my feet again. Can't get around him. There we go. It says, I hate these paintings. I'd like to throw all of them out the window. Me too. This is just a bunch of trees. This painting doesn't even look finished. I can't even tell what this is. Monet, how can we stop this from happening at our next show? Easy. Don't have a next show. Eek. That was pretty harsh. People in Paris in these days wanted to see paintings that told a story about some important battle or historical event. They were used to paintings where everything looked clear and sharp, and they liked dark, moody colors like this painting. So this is what people were used to seeing and wanted to see. They didn't want to see any of the Impressionist paintings of outside. Monet and his friends were more interested in how pretty something looked when the sunlight was on it. They liked to paint ordinary things, like a boat on a lake, or rocks by the ocean, or even haystacks in a field. A newspaper man called these artists Impressionists. He got the name from Monet's painting, Impression Sunrise. It's a beautiful painting. In fact, I, on Thursday, this is right where I want to be, on my boat, looking at this. Maybe the sunset, though. I am not getting up for a sunrise. Too early. Even though people were not crazy about Monet's Impressionist pictures, he kept on painting them. He thought it was important to show scenes of everyday life, and he tried to make the colors, shadows, and light in his paintings as real as possible. Monet was even able to show steam and dampness coming from a train engine. In 
If you take a very close look at some of Monet's paintings, you can hardly tell what he painted. It just looks like a bunch of colorful brush strokes. So like, look at this, it's kind of a, you can see the brush strokes, you can see the movement in the paint. It's hard to see what it is. But when you take a step back a little, it all starts to make sense. It's easy to see that the colorful brush strokes we were just looking at are really two ladies walking along a cliff in this painting. So when you take a step back, you can see that they're the ladies on the cliff, but when you're looking close, they just kind of look like a jumbled mess. Pretty cool. The exciting brush strokes and colors in Monet's paintings give you the feeling of being right there at the moment he made the painting. Monet wanted to get as close as he could to the things he was painting, no matter what the conditions were. Sometimes he had to tie his easel down so that the waves wouldn't wash his painting away. So here he was actually in the water painting this and had to tie his easel down so the waves didn't pull it away. We got a little cartoon about it. Are we on here? Okay. There, now that I've tied my painting into a rock, nothing can go wrong. And then look what happens next. Here comes the wave. And now he is in the water instead of with his canvas. Monet often painted many pictures of the same thing. He wanted to see how sunlight changed the look of something at different times of the day or at different seasons of the year. So at this top one, this is end of day in autumn and the bottom is end of day in the summer. So here's the same haystacks, end of day in the, in the fall and end of day in the summer. When Monet was older, people finally started to appreciate his paintings. He settled down in the French town of Giverny and built a wonderful garden there, water garden there. Look how pretty that is. That needs to be my backyard. Right? Right. Claude Monet lived to be 86 years old. He spent the last 10 years of his life painting scenes of his water garden. These paintings are among the most beautiful and most famous paintings that he did. Some of them are over 40 feet wide. I bet you've seen this one. Monet was able to show how things looked at the moment he saw them, almost like a camera does. He loved nature and he painted with colors so that a scene would look as much like nature as possible. He was even able to paint mist and fog and make it look real. It's a lot of fun to see real Monet paintings, especially up close. You'll be surprised by how many different colors you can see and how simple Monet's brush strokes so this week, I challenge you to get outdoors and make some Monet-style stuff. Bye, guys.